are you guys doing? Actually, this is take two. <laughs> Angelina was outside in the backyard with Jude, and then she started crying. We had to stop, start again. But welcome our Patreon family. There's three of you, <laughs> I know, but this video is dedicated for you guys. We're gonna talk about Amani's journey for her first job. How did she get it? I mean, when you have faith in God and God is looking upon you, you don't I have. I didn't get it yet. I know. <laughs> She's about to get it, but you guys will I have so. like a like immediate access to whatever is going on because you are supporting the Alpha Slice channel and you have the right to get insights of what's going on. So, anyways, what I was saying when God, like when you have faith in God, then you don't really have to work hard, just believe in Him and He will, things will fall into place. So that's what I did with my, you know, immigration journey to the United States and that's what Amani did, you know, with studying for her NCLEX. You, you, you already know Amani uh, passed her NCLEX uh, January 27th and she started studying just one week after her delivery. This little girl, she's six months now, she was one week old when Amanda started studying for her ankle and oh my yeah, god. I remember I took her with me for the fingerprinting. Mm -hmm. She was one week old. I was yeah. working. Yeah, I took her and uh, Nawa Jude was at school uh, and the lady there, she told me, you delivered one week ago, what are you doing here? Go rest. <laughs> really, really, if you think about it, it's crazy, but that's what God has planned for you and I mean, like, we, we just go along. So, Amani sat for her NCLEX January 27. She passed 76 questions. And, hey, listen, we are talking to Megan, uh, Ryan, and Dolores. So, we are talking to the three of you guys. There's no, there's no other nurses watching this video at the moment. So, uh, so she sat for her NCLEX. She passed 76 questions. You guys know. And then, um, we didn't start looking for jobs, right? We were waiting for Amani's license to arrive and it took like seven weeks? Seven weeks, yeah. It took seven weeks for her license to arrive. Yeah. And only then... I, we I got it on March 20, mm -hmm. before the Mother's Day. You know, in Middle East we have Mother's Day on 21st March. So I got it one day yeah. ahead of her Mother's so, Day. So, we, we didn't start looking for jobs. Um, when she got her license, we started thinking about it. But we didn't physically like go and apply for a job. And then my buddy and uh, you know my colleague, his name is Tanner, he's a triage nurse as well, he resigned. He, he's still a Carl employee but he resigned this position and he went to another Carl facility, another building near his house. So it's uh, because he drives like 35 minutes to work and that's like and his new job is just like walking distance. So, he resigned the position after working that position for four years. Out of the blue, he resigned that position. And I'm a member in, in like this committee. We were sitting there discussing whatever. And then they brought up the idea. They said, Tanner is leaving. We need someone to replace him. <laughs> and I just said, hey, my wife is ready. She got her license. She has oncology background, she worked outpatient, she has everything they need to fit that fits that position. Yeah. So, so they said that they like, yeah, why not? Let's see. They didn't open the position yet, but they asked her to apply to another position at the cancer center. But you know, between them, she will be in triage. And that's what happened. I broke the news to Amani. Well, how, how did you feel when I told you about it? Yeah, it's amazing. I don't... It's, it's, I don't... I, it's like... Oh my god, it, it's like one in, one in a million. Yeah, one, one in a million chance. So her office literally will be right there. I'll I, be... I mean the timing. Like by the time, the same week that I got my license, your friend yes. resigned. Same timing. Perfect timing. Oh my god, it is, it is the perfect timing. Yeah. So my, I will be sitting right here. So you, you see my office. Yeah. I'll be sitting right here, and then you will be sitting right there. Michelle, which is another Avant nurse, will be sitting right there. We if I, all... I will get the. Hopefully, you will get it. I did not get it yet. I still have one uh, interview. I know. To go for. So, Amani applied for the position. The first interview was with HR, right? Yeah. It's like it took for one hour, 
Because they were, we're not gonna cut anything. It, it took an hour. She sat with Brian, right? Yeah. yeah. At, at first, first, let's let's tell them like the application process. How was it when you applied for the job? Like the when you applied online, was it like a long process? It's it's long a little bit, but uh, like you provide all the information about yourself. You upload your CV. Uh, yeah, so but one it's thing simple. it's not complicated. It is simple, but it's one simple. thing you need to like have in mind. When you I mean when you get to the States and you're like an agency agency nurse and you want to apply to another job, two things are very important. Your resume, which is way different layout from the, your resume with Avant, and then your cover letter. They will ask for a resume and a cover letter. So you need to to keep that in mind or even like just prepare them from now. Prepare a resume, a good resume, and prepare a cover letter. But anyways, and then you, you sat with Brian. Yeah. How old is Brian? Is Brian? How old? It's like in twenties. I mean, like, 20s. like my perception. <laughs> hey, daddy. Like my perception of like an a, like head of HR at Carl would be someone like 50, 60 years old. Yeah. But he's freaking 20 in his 20s, like 28, 29, something maybe, like that. Maybe. I'm not because, sure. I like, did not ask him about his age. But. The director of the cancer center that I work at is 29, 29 years old and he's the director of the cancer center. Who? Cool. The director? Director, Jason. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. Me and him are buddies. I mean, as soon as I came to, you know, to, to my job, I know how to, like, make buddies. And, and he's he's literally a genuine, kind, and good guy. But me and him are friends. Cancer Center. Director of the Cancer Center. Can you freaking believe that? Yeah. Anyways. People 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 here are friendly, are, mm. are very hum humble, and they are down to earth. Yeah. yeah. But That's why you feel more comfortable when talking to them. Yeah. But you don't have to be shy. Like, on your first job, you need to be, like, you need to talk to people, communicate, it doesn't matter, their position, everyone, like, we are all equal outside of, you know, the work, work environment, but just, just say hello, introduce yourself, you know, tell them how long have you been a nurse, or whatever, just, you know, talk about something. Anyways, so you sat with Brian, how was your interview? Yeah. Like, short, short and sweet. Uh, it was uh, nice, and uh, I was very comfortable talking to him, uh, he was a nice guy, uh, he asked me a couple of questions, not couple, few questions about my uh, my uh, personality, about nursing, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I was prepared, so I answered all the questions as I prepared myself. Uh, I did not freeze at all. All the questions I answered properly. And but yeah. you're saying you're saying like few questions. He asked you at least ten to twelve questions, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was like a legit interview. Yeah. 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 And I, I, we we stayed like one hour. Yeah, one hour. one hour. And I was waiting in the parking lot with because no one. Because he just... was explaining the benefits of the mm. position and stuff. And benefits stuff. are are amazing. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. they are amazing. I mean, do you want to say how much they offered you? No. No. Thirty-two dollars. Can you free? <laughs> They did not offer this to the Almost, people. almost. But I mean, I will get paid more than her because I have a certification. I have a lot of, you know, whatever. When I finish, I'll be earning more than you. So the, he said maybe it will be around thirty-one or thirty-one point five, but they did not calculate it. Yeah, I know. But he was like estimating because he no, did not just... go through the each single year of my experience. Later on, when they have all the proofs of my experiences, they will calculate it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just saying like up I'm to date. I'm hoping that it will be thirty-one point five. Yeah, just for them to know, like to expect. Yeah, it how will much be. Would it? it will be good. Mm. Yeah, I was expecting that. But as Impatient if you are like a freelancer like you're not an agency nurse inpatient you'll get You'll get paid at least three dollars more than an outpatient setting. Yeah, yeah So anyways, she had her interview She when she went outside and you guys saw saw that in the video if you watched it. She was freaking happy Yeah, yeah, I was so excited and uh, and, and happy Hey, hey, hey No, bo -bo. Yes. 
So, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, it was a very nice day. I remember it was really very nice day. That day, uh, like around, after one hour from the interview, they, they called me for the next interview. And I was so excited. And they told me, like, it was like Tuesday, they told me, can you come Friday for the next interview? I said, no, Friday, because my husband is working. So I make it uh, Friday, and one day, and last Monday, it was the second interview. And last Monday, it was the second interview. It was with the head nurse, and it was... Of, it was... That my husband had so this is uncut. I'm not. I'm not gonna edit this. But so she sat for her nursing interview with the nurse manager and nurse coordinator, and she, uh, I mean she did very well. She froze on one question, if I can remember correctly. She said uh, they asked her about. They asked her about. What did they ask her? I, I completely forgot. She she'll tell you in a bit. And then she had a peer interview, and on the same day she had a peer interview. So three of the triage nurses. Uh, what was that question that you froze with with uh, when you were interviewing with the nurse manager and the coordinator? Uh, tell me, Angelina. Yeah. So then she sat with a peer interview. Three of the triage nurses started asking her questions. All the questions are scripted, so. The triage nurses don't have a say in the questions. They just gave them a script and they pick up questions from the script. So, Angelina's screaming, but I'm not gonna edit this. It's gonna be the way it is. So, they asked her questions and she did amazing. With the peer interview, everyone loved her. Um, you know, the three, uh, three of my uh, colleagues... Um, Chain, Ali, and uh, Sybil, uh, three of them loved her to the, to, to the maximum. And uh, what was that question? Uh, with the manager uh, and the coordinator, uh -huh. uh, she asked me, uh, tell me or give me an example about a patient you took care of and you went extra and beyond in your care. I was freezing. Like, because... I was not discriminating between patients. So she didn't know how to answer that because she treats all the patients the same, and like she was, she was, like she doesn't she didn't want to say that she has a favorite patient, but she said that patients favored her over other nurses, and that's happen that happens a lot in oncology. Sometimes you go on the unit and your assignment is one with one patient, then the patient would say, "No, I don't want Muhammad. I want Amani." You know something like that or vice versa so she don't she didn't want to seem that like I give this particular patient more attention than the other patient so uh, basically that's her second interview and now she is waiting on her third interview it's gonna be with her doctor and her doctor is gonna interview her uh, Maybe she's hungry actually, that's why she wanted to eat. But anyways, so she's gonna sit for her interview on Monday and oh my god, after that they're gonna offer her a job, hopefully. But you know, we had a um, the staff meeting on Thursday, it's like a monthly staff meeting and then the nurse manager said that there's another applicant. So they have to interview, if, if someone applies for that position, then they have to interview him. But I would say 80, 90% a man is gonna get the job and that other person, they might, if he fits like the criteria, he might get a job in the infusion area, but not in triage. So fingers crossed, hopefully, a man is gonna get the job. And then, as I said on the live, like, I don't want to, pick up PRN jobs at, you know, that far hospital at Gibson, even though the money is good, like it's $300 per shift where, where I can buy like gear or software, you know, for YouTube or for Amani's photography or whatever. I, I'm not going to quit that job. I still have to pick up one shift every month to be able to maintain it. 
So that's what I'm gonna do basically and uh, I'm gonna focus focus more on YouTube on making videos for y'all so if you have videos that you would like me to make just let me know if you want to collab on like a video I know me and you Ryan have collabed twice on videos Dolores if you want to be in, in one of my videos Megan if you want to be on one of my you know videos we can shoot something and then provide other people with value information and help so, thank you for being a Patreon, and honestly, it means the world to me, uh, from the deepest place in my heart, me and Emani, thank you. So, that is it. I'll be posting on Patreon at least once a week, on the weekends, maybe twice a week, uh, because you guys are d decided to take that extra step. Of support and be a patron I would I will that's a promise I will make a video on Monday um, I don't know if me and Amani but definitely I'll make a video on Monday after Amanda's interview and let you guys know what's up until then thank you for being here and don't forget be an alpha slice every single minute of your life Love y'all.